Maybe it's a bit silly to do a behind the scenes video on a 14 second film, but what the hell. So the Raindance Film Festival has a 14 second horror film competition and here's the submission that Lotta and I made. Yeah, 14 seconds is really short. To get the reflection in the photo, we shot a frame with a piece of green paper in it. There was no glass in the frame, since at this stage you want to avoid reflections for the 3D tracking, so that's added in later. I drew in some tracking markers to be able to do a 3D track in Blender. Blender needs at least 8 tracking markers to do a 3D solve, but I drew 10 just for the hell of it. I took a photo of this handsome devil and used it as a texture on a simple plane. For the reflection, I took a photo of the doorway, I took some pictures of Lotta's hair, and I put that on a skinny silhouette I drew, which I then did some slight animation on in Anime Studio Pro. This is the software I use for 2D animations. It can't do motion blur, but if it's really subtle animation like this, it doesn't really matter. I may have made it too subtle though, since you can hardly see any movement in the finished film. In Blender, I put that texture on a big plane behind the frame, I put a glossy shader on the plane of the frame so it acts like a mirror and lined everything up the way I wanted it. I took the render of the mirror image, put it on top of the photo and set the blending mode to screen which means that darker parts of the image will be transparent and lighter parts will be opaque which is basically how a reflection in glass would work. To make the monster I start with some photos of Lotta. This here is something I do to get as much of the eyeballs as possible. You could just draw or render white eyeballs I guess, but then I wouldn't have photos like these of Lotta. Then it's time to do a bunch of painting and retouching. The image of the monster I then cut up into pieces and use as a texture on some very simple geometry in Blender to make some movements. This is more of a 2D solution than a 3D one really, since it's mostly just flat planes being animated for a bit of morphing. To put the monster behind Lotta was pretty easy, since there's quite a bit of contrast between the background and the edge of Lotta. By turning the image black and white, increasing the contrast some more, and doing some simple masking, I got a somewhat decent luminance mask so I could then put in the monster behind. So those were the visual effects for our 14 second horror film, See You Soon.